The most important part of this tutorial is playing around gradients because you can actually create amazing stuff in Canva using gradients, you know, like how you play around with it actually adds more meaning to your design. So make sure you're liking and subscribing to this channel because I always come your way with, you know, amazing and beautiful Canva tutorials. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And um, yeah, the name is Benjamin. And without any further ado, let's dive straight into Canva and let's get started. All right, so we have a blank canvas, which is 1080 by 1350. And just in case you have no idea on how to get to this dimension, just come you know, on your home page, come to create and make sure you are heading to Instagram post four by five. If you don't see it over here, come to social media and you should just search for it from here. You should also see it from here. Okay, nice one there. So that's what we have. So the first thing you're going to do is to change the background color. So just head on to background color. And we're just going to set it to any color of our choice. Okay. So I'm going with this dark gray. Okay. Which is 1D, 1D, 1D. All right. And I just switched to gradient. All right. Then we'll come to circular gradient. Okay. Once you do that, I'm just going to swap the colors because I don't want it from dark to white. I want it from light to dark. So I'll just swap the gradient and we see what we have at the moment. Now this is too bright, so I'll reduce it a little bit to something like this, and I think it works. Then let's come into element and just search for texture. Okay, so texture, and we should have a lot of textures in here. So you can choose any one of your choice. There are so many textures in here, but I think I like this one. So I'll increase the size, you know, then come to transparency and also reduce the transparency so you have something like this like a wall texture okay now the interesting part of this is first of all let's press down on our keyboard okay then we'll just you know have the shape we'll place it over here then the next thing we are going to do is to press c on our keyboard again okay and this is how i want you to arrange your shape so something like this then just play around with it so it should look like this but make the your oval now is an oval so make it lighter okay so that you can tell the difference so this is what we have at the moment you know yes it looks nice but i think it's too plain it's too plain all right now what i'm just also going to do is i'm just going to widen it a little bit yeah just so that it covers this looks nice but i think it's just too plain and the reason i'm saying it's too plain is that if we are to add a light and which i want you to do I want you to add a light. Once we add this light, we want to communicate the fact that, you know, the this podium we have over here is taking effect based on the position of the light, okay? Or the, the surface is being, you know, is being affected. And let me just put it that way. It looks like I'm struggling with my explanation today. <laughs> so let's play around with the gradient. Now, the light is towards this area. So which simply means that automatically this side should be lighter, okay? This area should be lighter. And as we go further to this edge, it should be darker. The same for this shape also, okay? So let's first of all start with this um, rectangle shape. So we'll come into color and come into gradient, okay? So you click on gradient and this is what we have at the moment. Now let's switch, okay, so that it's from light to dark. But this time around, what we're going to do is we'll drop this a little bit, okay? And we have this one as well. We'll add a third color, okay? And with that third color, we are going to make it darker, you know? So I have from 1E1E to 181818. And you see how things are looking. I'm just going to add another one and I will just drop this more to 0808. And you can see we are actually now making it look realistic, okay? This looks realistic as compared to what we just had with the plain color. If you want to take it further, we can add another gradient, okay? And we'll just make it all black, okay? Now, if it's not all black, maybe 1616, we can add another one, and this can just go all the way to black. So you can see what we have at the moment. Now, I think this part looks a bit lighter, and I don't want that. I want it to be darker, okay? So we we'll just select it and I think we we'll just have to drop it down more. Yeah. So that's what we have at the moment. And I think this looks better. Now let's do the same for this. You know, we want it to be brighter. So that's what we are going to do. 
we'll first of all come into color and we'll just change it to gradient okay now let's do the same since the light is coming from this area we want this side to be brighter all right so we'll swap it and what we are also just going to do is first of all let's just drop this a little bit okay yeah then just can go down further okay and for this we, just, we can keep it maximum four color gradient okay so this can also go down more and even with this looks beautiful i think it looks fine with this okay it looks fine so if you want to add another color you can do but just three colors should be perfect okay now we have this what we want to now do is we'll just add you know a lipstick so we would say lipstick okay and well we have some lipsticks in here so i will search for lipstick we have this lipstick in here i think i like this one i would choose the size and since it even already has a shadow you know it's making everything look good just like the shadow the position of the shadow doesn't make sense if there's light here the shadow should be here so i'll just click on this and i'll just flip it horizontally okay so just pay attention to some of these things now we can come to edit adjust you can just edit it a little bit okay so the shadows you can increase the shadows okay and the blacks can be more and you can just you know increase vibrance and do some little uh, other things you know this really looks realistic and everything is being done in canva mind you everything is really done in canva i really 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 like this i really like it okay, okay. so now that we've done this we can now go on to add some text okay so you can press t on your keyboard to add the text and we'll just put this here or i can just see so we can just put it here and we can just call on chat gpt if you don't know what to say so i'll just say bolding your lips okay so bolding your lips and we'll just make it all caps okay then we'll also change this to you know any nice serif font so serif just search for serif and we can choose any one at all so i think this is a nice font we'll just change the color to white okay so this is what we have and if you have you know, a specific brand you want to be working with you can just use the brand name behind the text okay so this one for example let's say it's called like them okay we can just increase the size just a little bit okay then we'll bring it here and we will just also reduce the transparency okay something like this and we'll also duplicate bring this down duplicate down and send everything to the back okay so this is what we have at the moment and i think this is actually looking beautiful and with the photo and this shape you know the podium we've created I must say that it really looks as if it was a photo we've just taken and added the text. It really looks beautiful. It really looks beautiful. So let me know what you think about this. In fact, let me just drop this down here a little bit. Yeah. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. The name is Benjamin. If you are on the free version of Canva, you want to try Canva Pro for free, I have a link in the description box below. So make sure you are, you know, smashing on the link. The name is Benjamin. Always remember there is no limit to creativity. And I should see you in the next video. Peace.